It was hot that day. Very hot. We heard they had captured an infidel, an evil Bobby, a sworn enemy of the sovereign and destroyer of the fate of Muhammad. Despite the heat and my advancing age, I struggled to make my way to the roadside to catch a glimpse of the great infidel as they dragged him to the black dungeons of Tehran. As I approached, I could hear the roar of the crowd as they gathered to pelt him with stones and curse him. He was on foot and in chains, exposed to the fierce rays of the midsummer sun. They made him walk all the way from Shinehan, more than 15 miles, and to keep pace with the royal horsemen. His head and feet were bare, and several times they stripped him of his outer garments. Good. Praise be to Allah. Give the infidel what he deserves. As he approached, I reached down and grabbed the largest rock that I could lift, that I might be blessed, inshallah, with the chance to throw this rock into his face. Suddenly, the roar of the crowd grew louder. I realized that he was passing the very stand where I was standing. I, I, I couldn't get through. I couldn't see through. Please, let me through. I ran to the front, and I shouted, by the Imam Hussein, I beg of you, please, let me throw this rock into his face. Allah must have heard my prayer because suddenly the prisoner himself stopped the guards, turned to them and said, deny her not what she regards as a magnificent act in the sight of God. He turned and faced me and I threw the rock into his face. It was very hard.